All right, as you can see, we have our valley jack cut. Before we set it in place, I want to go over a few things. This has to do with any valley jack you do. You use your same common off your square, whichever square you're using. Like this is our, our common cut here for a 12-pitch roof. We set it right there. Okay, we have that. But now if you notice, on the inside we have to set our saw at 45 degree angle. Any of your corner, whether it's a hip or a valley, are always, always 45 degree angle. They're not anything else but that. So you want to make sure that you cut this at a 45 degree angle at the correct common angle. Now, at the ridge board, as you can see, it's a straight cut. Same thing, you use your square, you set it up for a common cut. And the only thing we have to remember is we have to do our subtraction. Now let's go over here and see how this is going to work out. It's 16 inches from center to center, but you can see This would be your center. So in other words, on each side is where that goes. And the same thing below, as we set this up, we should be 16 inches at the, at the bottom also. We're going to set this in place. And we are 14 and a half inch center so we have to recut this like I said this nothing is exact in this but to give you the example of what we're talking about you can see where the 45 degree cut is fitting down here at the bottom can you get a shot of that out I mean uh, Andrew yeah see a 45 degree cut here the back of your 2 by everything needs to be in flush. The same with the top. We need to come to the top. Let me recut this. All right, recut. Drop it in place. There we go. We got our 16-inch center. There we go. Yep, 16-inch center. This one to here. So in other words, when your plywood is coming across, it would end on the center of this board if this is where it ends, so that you can start your next piece and continue on. Got a 24-inch center. Oh, and by the way, I am going to refigure my math here, which we showed to be 11 and a half. I guess I must have made this 12 and a half because I am 11 and a half inches long. I know what I did wrong. I measured to the inside instead of to the long point. And that's a good point because everything you cut, everything goes to the long point. If you come from here to the short point, you're going to come up too long of a piece. I have the whole board. Yeah. Got it? Anyway, that's that's a good example. Oh, good. I need to get that big monitor out here, really. I should have brought it out this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Good shot up right there. Okay, well, anyway, see, it's 11 and a half inches long. So we're coming from the long point to the long point. Our 12 pitch with our 5 pitch roof dying into it. The reason you want to leave, the reason you want to do all this crazy framing is because if you brought your decking all the way down, the problem you're going to run into is let's say you have an air conditioner guy, an AC guy, whatever, needs to get from this side of the roof ceiling, attic area, whatever you want to call it, to the five pitch attic area, he wouldn't be able to get through there. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to end up cutting a hole in there anyway. So it's best to go ahead and frame it 
So as your framing is in place, then someone can get through from one side to the other. So remember that when you're framing a roof, you always want to have some kind of an access area. All right. Uh, one thing I want to show you before we get into where our 12 pitch roof intersects with our other 12 pitch roof going at right angles is that as you can see in this corner down here right in this corner here this valley rafter should have continued on down but we left it like this because I want to show you in a little bit more detail in this other spot as you can see when you try to put a board into the corner coming at a 45 degree angle you've got this space you've got about a one inch space it fits in there you know what I wish I had a oh, wait a bit wait a minute I don't know what do. okay we're rolling all right before we get to the valley jacks the thing you've got to remember when you're working with a corner as you can see this space that we've got left and if you can look at this corner down here on this plate that I've got here in front of us as your valley jack is coming off you want to have enough overhang going down so that you can come back later and cut off what you don't need but the problem you get into is this little area to where oh boy let me get this thing fitting again figure out how I had it there we go and okay you tell me when you got this Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. As this is fitting in that corner, as we turn this up, you'll see that gap that we've got in there, that, that space that we have. We have to make up that space. And rather than trying to cut two 45 degree angles on the edge of your jack router, which is really difficult, what you want to do is just cut this thing back about an inch so you're, you're imitating moving this end to take up that space. In other words, you have about a one inch space left. This is going to be a one inch short. As for what we've done here, and the only reason that we do that is so that we can have a rafter tail left over so that we can come back later and cut it off. Sometimes the simplest way is just cut the tails off and add them in later. But now that we've got our two, our 12 inch, our tw yeah, 12 pitch roof tied in that intersects with our other 12 pitch roof, we have to come in with our decking. Where did my decking go? One thing I want to show you before we get into where our 12 pitch roof intersects with our other 12 pitch roof going at right angles is that as you can see in this corner down here, right in this corner here, this valley rafter should have continued on down, but we left it like this because I want to show you in a little bit more detail in this other spot. As you can see when you try to put a board into the corner coming at a 45 degree angle you've got this space. You've got about a one inch space that fits in there. You know what I wish I had a... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know what I'm do. 
Okay. And we're rolling. All right. Before we get to the valley jacks, the thing you've got to remember when you're working with a corner, as you can see, this space that we've got left, and if you can look at this corner down here on this plate that I've got here in front of us, as your valley jack is coming off, you want to have enough overhang going down so that you can come back later and cut off what you don't need. But the problem you get into is this little area to where oh boy, let me get this thing fitted again. Figure out how I had it. There we go. And okay, you tell me when you got this Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. As this is fitting in that corner, as we turn this up, you'll see that gap that we've got in there, that, that space that we have. We have to make up that space. And rather than trying to cut two 45 degree angles on the edge of your jack router, which is really difficult, what you want to do is just cut this thing back about an inch so you're, you're imitating moving this end to take up that space. In other words, you have about a one inch space left. This is going to be a one inch short. As for what we've done here, and the only reason that we do that is so that we can have a rafter tail left over so that we can come back later and cut it off. Sometimes the simplest way is just cut the tails off and add them in later. But now that we've got our two, our 12 inch, our tw yeah, 12 inch roof tied in that intersects with our other 12 inch roof, we have to come in with our decking. Where did my decking go? going to have plenty of support because you have support for your 12 inch. This sets on top of that. Okay, but we're not really here to discuss decking or anything. I'm just kind of showing you how the two come together. And you always want to do a, you know, catch the center. And as you can see, I kind of missed the center on that, but this is strictly for show and tell. All right, back to our 12 pitch roof decking. On your square or in your book that you have, the third line gives you the difference, and you don't need to see this because it's, it's like I said, it's in your book anyway, but right here where it says difference in length of jacks, 16 inch centers. The fourth line, difference length in jacks of two foot centers. What that means is this is your jack. In this case, this is a, ja a valley jack. So as you read across, you come over to a 12 pitch roof. You come down, your first line is a common, your second line is the hip, and your third line is what you subtract from the length of your common rafter. So what you do is you take the overall length of a common rafter. You come from, of course we already know the lengths because we discussed them earlier, but you subtract, in this case, you subtract 22 and 5 eighths of an inch from the overall length of your common rafter. So if we have a, say a 34 inch common rafter as we're going across and then we're going to go from here to a 16 inch center, then we take your 34 and subtract 22 and 5 8 